Okay, with the newest build of Windows 10 Technical Preview, build 10041, they changed several things in the way they do the multiple desktop. So I'm going to show you those uh, differences here. Uh, there are some nice improvements. So you still can get to it the same way by clicking on task view and it shows you the different desktops you have. By default you just have the one and if you want to add a new one click on plus new desktop and that will add a second desktop and when you hover over them we'll show you what's win which windows are open and click on it to have it open. Here I see I have one window open under desktop one and another window open under desktop two. And if I click on that, it'll switch to it. And you can also switch back and forth with a keyboard shortcut, which is the control windows and then the arrows. So hold down control window and then left, and it'll go to the left desktop, and then control window and right, it'll go to the right desktop. But one of the nice changes is if you want to move one of your windows to a separate desktop before you had to right click on it and click move to which will still work but now you can also click not on the top bar well we'll get back to that again we click not on this top part but actually within the window and you can drag it and when it shrinks down if you let go it will actually move it to that desktop so now both windows are on the same desktop and nothing is on the second desktop and we could do it again come back up here click hold drag down until it shrinks down let go and that moves it to the new desktop and you can switch back and forth again now one of the nice other changes they made is that before no matter how many desktops you had they would all show up down here on the taskbar and any open ones that you have an actual open tab on or open window would then have the blue underline. But under settings, you can now change that so that depending upon which desktop you're on, it'll only show those windows down here. So let me open up something else here so you can see what I'm talking about. Ah, it's not what I so I have this program Earth in View, which is a nice image viewer. Now that's on desktop one, and you can see it down here. If I click down here and switch to my second desktop, you can see that that now disappears. And if I go back to the first desktop, it'll reappear. So it's only showing what's on that desktop down in the taskbar. It's actually running. And to enable that setting, click on Start, go up to Settings. And then you want to go under System and Multitasking. And right down here, you have different settings with additional desktops. So it says right here, on the taskbar, show windows that are open on. You need to choose two basic things. Only the desktop, desktop I'm using or all desktops. And the same thing with the Alt tab. When you're cycling through, you have it show all your desktops and every application that's open on it are only the one I'm using. So if you have 10 windows on one desktop and 10 on the other and you only want to look at the ones on the one desktop and I have them cluttered with 20 different open applications, you could just choose the one that you're using and that will actually help pare down the number of icons down the taskbar and the number of different programs you could cycle through and that will help a lot with organization. So you see right here I have it only on the desktop I'm using. If I choose to switch to all desktops and get out, now when I switch you see I still see those other ones and if I click on it it'll switch back to that desktop but I prefer to have it at the other setting where it only shows what's on the current desktop so it makes it a little bit neater down here so again go into system go into multitasking and switch this fast back to only the desktop I'm using and when I switch to the second desktop those icons will be removed. So that's a quick look at the differences and the changes they made with the newest build of Windows 10, build 10041, and the uh, 
virtual desktops and how to switch between them and move programs back and forth. If you'd like to see more Windows 8, Android, or Beginners videos, click on one of these video clips and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.